because it has been an extremely tough negotiation as well. We see all the events, but we're not looking at all the backroom hard negotiations happening. Even the trade ministers meet the successful one you talked about, didn't have a communique because of disagreement on a paragraph on Ukraine. We've heard what the US ambassador has said about Ukraine. Do you expect that in the communique for the G20 uh, heads of state summit that this is going to be an insurmountable problem? Well, nothing in life is insurmountable. I think uh, we are all optimists. And today, this young India with such a uh, exceptionally attractive young demographic profile under 30, which over the next 30 years is going to continue to remain under 30 mm -hmm. and possibly add to global economy as a contribution from India, $30 trillion. We are, we are looking at growing from three and a half trillion to 35 trillion in the next 25 years. I think this resurgent India today offers a beacon of hope that nothing is impossible. We are going to persevere and we are still very confident that we'll be able to bring convergence. Uh, you must note that almost all the tracks came out with an outcome document and mm -hmm. chess text. It was not just a chess text. There were significant outcomes, including in our meeting yesterday, where we came up with a Jaipur call for action, mm -hmm. which will support the MSMEs in a big way in India. We came out with significant agreement amongst all countries, all member and invitee countries, that uh, we will look at digitization in this interconnected world so that global trade can be paperless. And we were ob also able to look at convergence on mapping global value chains to make them more resilient. Now, such significant tasks for the future reflect very well on our ability to steer different viewpoints, different thoughts on the table. And uh, while, of course, there is uh, the geopolitical issue on which convergence at our ministerial level was not possible, I'm sure given Mr. Modi's astute leadership and his popularity, the command that he has uh, amongst uh, world leaders, the friendships that he has forged with world leaders. We will see some good outcomes coming out of the Leaders' Summit early next month. I'm very confident it's going to be a one-in-a-kind uh, G20 summit, just as over the year, not in 40 cities, but actually over 55 cities, representing every state in the country, every union territory of the country, we had close to 200 meetings mm -hmm. between the working groups and the ministerials and engagement groups. We had over 100,000 people coming from all over the world to visit India. I, I would think today every single Indian, be, be it somebody in the remotest villages of India, recognizes and respects India's pole position in the global order. And therefore, I think it's a matter of great pride that we have taken the G20 to the next level. 